An entry-level travel trailer, about 23 feet long, roughly 4,000 pounds, that can sleep six? I got you with this one. Check out the Wolf Pup 18TO. What's up, everybody? It's Chris Young standing inside the all new 2021 Forest River Wolf Pup 18TO. Like I said, just a little over 23 feet long, roughly 3,800 pounds in dry weight, but can easily sleep six. This is an amenity packed travel trailer that is entry level and has a lot of features you usually won't find on some entry level travel trailers. Plus, Forest River has been building these things since the 90s and they know good campers. They know how to make good campers. They do it sustainable too. They really reduce that carbon footprint by reducing and reusing those parts during the manufacturing process. That helps pass along a lot of the value to you. So don't shy away from the amenities. This one's got them at an entry level price that I think you're going to love. Right over here on the campsite, this is where a lot of the attention to detail has come into play for Forest River. Just take a look at the cabinetry work that we have here with the molding going around our base right here. Got my command center, gives me I can check my battery, my tanks, and cut on my water pump, my water heater, run out my awnings, my slide. Yep, this one does have a slide, which if you notice, really gives us the room. And with the ceilings roughly 80 inches in height, you got plenty of headroom. You got mounted speakers for that dual zone entertainment, both in and out. Plus, you got a 13.5 BTU air conditioner with the quick cool dump and a 20,000 BTU furnace. With the insulation that we have here, not to mention the fully walkable roof, which is insulated and down below, you're going to do a good job keeping the climate where you want it as long as you want it. So, got my AM FM command center right here with HDMI, Bluetooth. This is the driven, so it has that near field communication. If you have a Bluetooth phone with near field, you can actually pair the two up. You also get the Forest River uh, remote control app, so you can run a lot of the stuff through the remote control from your cell phone, uh, the awnings, the air, the whole nine. Got storage space up here under these solid shaker style cabinets. I'm a big fan of the limited package, how they did the coloring with the graphite style. Got a seamless countertop here under some LED lights. And you're gonna see I got a power port here. So if I wanna make myself a coffee station, I could. You got the stainless steel undermounted bowl style sink. Big fan of this. Plus you got the graphite high rise faucet here. Very nice designer style. Some of those amenities that you won't find in some entry level travel trailers of this size. Plus, I got my hand sanitizer station or my soap pump there. High output flush mounted two burner cooktop with the glass cover. Got the LED accent light right there on my controls. Does a good job as a night light. Got my fan, my light, got a high output microwave. What does that mean? High output just means it's gonna give you more power than most travel trailers will have in them. One of those features and amenities that Forest River has, like the 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Yes, 10 cubic feet of cold space right there. Look at that, you got the shelves to hang the waters, you got the glass shelves there, plenty of fridge, freezer space. This is a GE fridge. Got my heat and controls right here. Got my circuit breaker box there, right next to my battery disconnect. This is a nice feature to have because when you're ready to go out, you don't have to worry about going and messing under the tongue or under, uh, under the frame at the front to get to the battery disconnect. You can just flip it, all the lights go off, you're good to go. Solid door leading into the bathroom. Now, this is a 23 foot travel trailer with you know enough room to sleep six. So you're gonna be a little cramped in a couple of spaces, but still not too bad. I mean, it's, it's a workable shower. Got my plastic bowl with the foot flush here. I got the single surround tub shower combo. And when we step in here, still not too bad. I mean, I'm a little cramped, but once again, 23 foot travel trailer entry level the price is fantastic the amenities are great i'm still not too super cramped got my corner notches right here got my sink right there got my shower curtain my powered vent fan right here and vent so if i want to open that up and get me some more lights i could some air getting that cross breeze and the little tub so now this being one of those campers that can be used as uh, a sleeper for the family, or if you need something as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, but let's say you bring the dogs and you go out to the beach or you go hiking or whatever, the dogs are dirty. That tub is a good spot to get them cleaned off because you got the shower nozzle right here. Just spray them down, get them cleaned off. Then when it's time to reconnect, got the booth dinette here with storage underneath both sides. 
The table is removable, uh, and this does reduce down into a sleeper, but just take a look. Plenty of space. Look, even Bob can sit down. We can chat and reconnect. Got the windows right here, some of the largest in class, pretty much covering the entire slide. Got the wood balance, the LED push button lights, solid surface going all the way around as well. Got the insulation inside the slide, so I'm not gonna be cold. It's not gonna be different, warm over here, cold over there, but just a good reconnection spot right here. When was the last time you got a chance to get out and reconnect with those loved ones? Because that's what it's about. So many people are discovering how great it is to get an RV. And if you're looking for something entry level, you need to sleep six people or just make it a hunting cabin. You say, Chris, we got land, some BLM or something like that. We want to go set up something that we can just come get out of the rain. You got a spot right here for a TV with all your connections that can easily be seen by everybody. So good entertainment spot right there. If you need to get out of the rain, you're not going to go crazy because you don't have enough room to move around. You still got plenty of space to do what you need to do. The only thing you got to watch out for with a lot of travel trailers is the headroom in the slide. Now, if you notice, I'm over six foot two. So sitting down and getting up, you just got to kind of you know, watch your noggin. But the way that they did this with the booth extending past where the slide edge is was a good move by Forest River because then, especially if you're coming to the edge, you're not really gonna hit your head that often. The reason I like this travel trailer is the added bunk. So this is one of those Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses. Right here, you got the 150 pound max capacity on this bunk, but check it out. When you're not using it, just move that out the way, store it underneath, do whatever you wanna do with it. This lifts up, slides down. You got the sofa right here, which is also a jackknife sofa, but I got shelf space. I got my dual USB charging port up there. So if I want to put something up there, maybe some plants or whatever I could, but if you needed that spot to get somebody to sleep, bam, large windows, open that up, get the cross breeze going. I got myself a campsite window over here so I could easily get the cross breeze. I got charging ports uh, pretty much everywhere. That's another feature that Forest River did really well with this. As you can see, this is one of those remote charging stations. You got your remote plug right there, but your USB, your duals for charging and your power port, LED push button lights under my camp size queen bed here, opening cabinets there for some storage up top. Got myself a little nightstand shelf down here on the bottom on the off camp side, wood balances around my windows, opposing here. And one of the things I thought was really cool, strut supported storage underneath that's accessible through the pass through. Let me tell you what, strut supported storage, some people might not think it's a necessity, but if you're setting up for those hunting trips, those fishing trips, man, you got to try to hold it with one arm and stuff stuff in, it's not fun. Just some of those amenities, those little things that are gonna make the camping experience so much better. Forest River did a really good job with the 2021s. So we've seen the inside of the all new 18TO. What do you say we go take a gander, RVing outdoors and camping world. Look at the outside, come on. All right, so we've seen the inside of the all new 2021 Forest River Wolf Pup 18TO. Let's check out the outside, starting right up here up front. We got a diamond plated rock guard on the bottom. You got that fiberglass roof going uh, fiberglass cover going all the way over the top including a fully walkable roof and the way that forest river makes their beams this is a solid these things are welded they're not bolted so all the way through it is one solid piece of metal as the frame not only that it is powder coated strong support and safe got my 20 pound lp tank up front hand crank right there as you can see we got the seal the double edge welded seal right here I'm a big fan of how they did the gray on the blue with this aluminum. Uh, a couple of years ago, it was the brown on brown. Eh, not a fan of that. It was ugly. This, absolutely beautiful. You got that anti-slam latches and doors here past the uh, plastic clip to hold up my storage. As you can see, this is uh, finished off storage, accessible from under the bed, the master bed up front. Got my leveling jack right here. And this unit is sealed uh, underneath enclosed got my lp quick connect right there so if i want to set up my camp grill i can got my solid steps leading into this beautiful uh door right here which is a new addition for 2021 i like how they did this with the limited package you got the just 
just has much better eye appeal. This glass door, dark, it's tinted one way so you can see out, but it can't see in. Just adds a really nice look and feel to it. Solid grab handle right here, doubling as a door guard. Sealed safety glass all the way around. And I got my little wolf pup kitchen right here with the external fridge right there. Good spot. So if you go fishing or whatever, you could do the cleanup right here and then store everything away there. Or if you're going to do the burgers, you got your quick connect for your grill. Cook everything up there, prep it here, close it up when you're ready to go to town. If I got a TV, I could mount it right here because I got my dual zone external speakers and my connections right here. Power port and cable connections right there. Now, this is a 14 inch tire. A lot of travel trailers this size has 13 inch uh, tires. And you can see this has the pressure monitor and this is nitro filled on that aluminum Dexter Easy Lube axle right there. Rear leveling jack. Watch your head, Bobby. You know how I like to bang my head. I usually hit it on everything, including the awnings, which by the way, 12 foot awning, LED light, got the adjustable pitch on these right here. And the leash latch. Forest River is great knowing that a lot of campers are gonna have the family friends go with them, the pets. So having that right there just adds that extra level of security and safety with your animal. Four by four sewer hose storage, bike rack and spare tire mounted, arch ceilings on the top, which that's really what helps keep the elements, the rain and the snow off of this camper. And there's three inch rubber guards gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slide over here on this side. Got a light, got the slide, Got my terminations right down there, gray and black tanks. Plus, just because why not, how about a little extra storage space that can be used for pretty much anything. For me, I would say this is a great grab and go spot. So if you like to hike, you like to fish, you like to hunt, you got that stuff you don't want to take inside and get the camper dirty, bam, throw it in there. Got my low point drains down there, 30 amp service plug right here external shower with hot and cold because when you're out and about if you use this as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin or if you've got kids the animals whatever they, j these are just great to have anyway come out spray off don't track that stuff in my camera get it all dirty come on now city water connection fresh water connection but as always the most important part of any uh, rv that you look at is going to be this info panel right here for example this is where you come to say gross vehicle weight for this unit just under 5,000 pounds but the dry weight on this one is roughly 3,800 pounds. So you ask your specialist, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this gonna fit right? I mean, this one could easily be towed by a half ton vehicle. Just ask them, let them walk you through that process because that's what they're there for. But if you're the active family, you want an entry level travel trailer packed full of amenities and you need to sleep about six people, I gotta tell you, man, the Wolf Pup 18 TO is an option you should put at the top of your list. But leave me some comments down below and let me know. What'd you think of the all new Forest River Wolf Pup 18TO? I love hearing from you and I love getting your comments. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. And as always, come check out a camper because they're fun. I'll see you soon.